I want to talk about the Warren Buffett indicator because sure. that's something that's yeah. maybe flashing some warning signals. So the Warren Buffett indicator, for our viewers that don't know, it measures the total market cap of U.S. stocks versus GDP. GDP. So as it stands right now, that's at a record high of 153 percent. Sure. Does that make you guys second guess or be a little bit hesitant at all? Um, so the good news about being a quant-driven firm is that we get all this fear out of the way, right? So um, 153 historical high, but if you look at the last three years, it's been trending that way. So it has not; it has been in red zone area for three years consecutively while the market has just ripped. Now, looking at GDP growth decline while the market is up 31% in 2019, you would expect it to get even more alarming, so, which is where we are. Um, we don't use it, so we, we don't necessarily look at it, but but what we're telling in investors and advisors is it is a, is a really good time now to look at your portfolio's risk. Um, take a good look at how sensitive is your portfolio to the overall market, because what we're seeing is that it's, there's, there's going to be more volatility of movement. And investors don't want to be caught flat-footed and not realize, well, I'm carrying a lot of risk. Well, that's why your portfolio moves so much to the downside. Yeah, I have to agree with that. I mean, the tide goes out. You can see it's been swimming naked. Mm -hmm. um, if you see where any money's been going in the market, it's been a lot of growth stocks and growth where the multiples are actually getting overvalued here. Where if you talk about value stocks, we talk about international stocks, there's a lot of places where valuations are a lot cheaper and the value is a lot better for the long term. You're not going to know that until the market actually pulls back. So it's a good time to get re-diversified. Absolutely agree. Ryan, what about technology? Technology was a huge outperformer in 2019. A lot of these tech giants were covering calls, it seems like, almost every every day and there's yeah. still numerous bullish calls when it comes to some of the biggest names, names like Apple, names like Facebook, like Google. Are you seeing any investment opportunity there? Um, I think it's going to keep going up just because if you buy the S&P and that's what investors like to do, it's like a tech fund and drag. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically 30 percent tech, so that can keep bidding those names yeah. up. But again, longer term, that's probably not where the value is. Short term, you may get another pop. I mean, Apple is up almost 80 percent last year. You may get some upside here, but that's not where the real value is if you're buying new equities. You want to be buying value again, international, you know, emerging markets. All those things are really better value. Yeah. All right. Well, Good. well, we just try to make it simple. Either it's risk on or risk off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to the if, if, if you believe more in, in the value trade, then you want to be more in a risk off posture. That's your low volatility stocks, your low volatility funds, sectors. And that'll allow you to participate in the equities, uh, but also give you some cushion to the downside, which is what everyone Fears. Everyone. All right. Well, Alfred and Ryan, thanks so much for stopping by today. Thanks, Sean. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.